Hello and welcome to another Flux tutorial. Today, we'll dive into how defining specific project requirements in Flux, such as operating temperature, input voltage, and frequency range, can help you have a design process. Precise requirements acts as a checklist, minimizing the chance of overlooking essential elements. It also ensures that every member of your team, no matter their role, stays aligned with the project goals and constraints. More importantly, with well-defined requirements, Copaldo can step in to deliver tailored feedback that matches your unique goals. This means instead of receiving broad advice, you get specific guidance tailored to your project. The easiest way to get started is by using one of our presets. We have presets for aerospace, audio electronics, IoT or edge computing, and many others. I'll leave a link to each one of those down in the description. When you open a template, you'll see a few preloaded properties with the most common requirements for a project like this. In the case of an audio project, you have things like compliance, operating voltage, distortion, number of channels, output power, etc. To start using one of these presets as a base for your next project, the only thing you need to do is go to the Flux menu and click on Clone. You get a copy of this preset that you can start modifying to tailor each requirement to your specific needs. For example, you might want to add the power for each speaker, the number of channels that you want, the distortion that you're willing to accept, etc. If you want to create your own preset, you can do so by creating a new project or by cloning one of these and start changing the properties to match whatever requirements are relevant to your industry. We mentioned that Copilot can use all these requirements to give you tailored feedback and help you meet your goals. So let's see a few examples of Copilot doing just that. In this first example, we can see that regardless of what question we ask, Copilot will always check that targeted components actually meet the requirements that we've set. Here, both the Bluetooth chip and the audio amplifier are matched against the standards. And Copilot correctly points out that one of the ICs actually doesn't meet the input voltage standard. This small interaction can save multiple headaches way down the line. In this other example, we can see that power recommendations are also much more accurate, since Copilot knows exactly what you're looking for and can check every parameter to the defined standard. You can then quickly search for that part in the library and drag it into your design. When your design is ready, you can ask Copilot to check that every component in your design is the project requirements. Copilot will quickly parse every component's datasheet and make sure that they're all adequate to your goals. Thank you for joining us in this tutorial on setting up project requirements in Flux. For more in-depth guides, please visit our documentation page. See you in the next one.